Hey, what's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review for Captivate. I'm going to be hitting up the Captivate ROMs hard this weekend and uh, catching up with a lot of the development. I've been working on some new devices. I've uh, got a new tab. Uh, I've been working with the Atrix a little bit, throwing some love back to the Vibrant team. And uh, now I'm ready to, to make my round and come back to the Captivate because there's a lot of new stuff out and uh, I'm looking forward to doing it. So look for about four or five of these reviews popping out this weekend. And... Um, give you guys an idea of what you may want to try to flash. So this is Continuum version 3.1.1 uh, from ISR1. Uh, we've done a review over his older stuff and really liked it, so let's go ahead and get it powered up. Stock boot screen to begin with, no param LFS flashing. Uh, moves right on into the Galaxy S kernel screen for the i897. Now this is a speed mod kernel uh, by Hardcore for the kernel. Uh, this is also built on the JS5 uh, source and that is an i9000 based ROM so remember my boot package will work just fine for this. We move right into the standard continuum boot animation .zip that we're used to seeing. Um, once again as I mentioned back then very minimalistic, very effective and it looks pretty cool so uh, props on that. So. Uh, some of the extra features to mention are call recording and whatnot. Now I want to say there is two versions of this. There's a themed version and a non-themed version. We're going to run with the themed version as I always enjoy looking at some of the newest and latest stuff coming out in the themes. Uh, so out of the box, Android um, unlock screen, full landscape support from the stock launcher out of the box, really cool stuff, and the horizontal based uh, uh, launcher as well for um, for the app drawer as well so I really like the horizontal launchers uh, I really think that's something that most developers should probably start integrating by default um, call recording is available obviously if we make a phone call we'll get the record screen and we can do things like that uh, five unlock screens as we've been seeing a lot on these ROMs Some really cool theming going on uh, we've seen this a little bit off and on uh, but themed settings menus Tons of framework changes in here. Um, obviously, uh, the new unlock screen is the uh, rotary screen that we've been seeing lately, and uh, it's really easy to do that. It's got a really cool uh, type of rotary look if we wanted to turn sound off and unlock. So lots of unlocking options. Uh, additional theming going on, nice pane glass. I do like the dark glass to where you can barely see through. It makes it easier to see things on the notification screen, as well as some themed uh, stuff up top for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, silent, and rotation. Um, now, Wi-Fi locks perfect on this. I tested GPS. It locked within about 10 seconds with no wireless network assistance, so that's pure GPS. Uh, it locked perfect, so GPS is not an issue with this ROM at all. Um, in addition to all this, we've got our extended power menu as we're used to seeing with some custom theming going on in there as well. Um, obviously, advanced host setting for blocking ads is built into the host file. There's widget grouping with the app widget picker. Um, there's a lot of other things such as additional keyboards and input features. Um, so tons, tons of theming going on and a lot of extra support in this as well. You can check out the full change log at uh, the thread in the description below and uh, find out a lot more about that. Some of the default apps to mention are the SGS Tools application, the Car Home app, the Desk Home app. It's got backlight notification control built into the kernel. Uh, obviously with hardcore kernel we're used to seeing that so it's really easy to enable. Um, so a lot, a lot of cool stuff going on in here and uh, Voodoo Control app so that way you can adjust your sound through the headphone input and whatnot. So a lot of uh, a lot of battery drain fixes such as the Wi-Fi sleep and power drain have been fixed due to the better Wi-Fi drivers uh, thanks to the JPA Wi-Fi fix. Um, full haptic feedback, no issues with that as well. Now be sure to stay tuned. We will have more scores and stuff in the end. I'm going to show you the Quadrant and Limpack scores that you can expect for this ROM and um, some other things as well. So uh, a lot of other issues fixed such as the third party camera apps not working with the stock email app. Uh, it's got the Samsung apps that we've been uh, used to seeing in there as well. Obviously I don't have a SIM card in this phone. But uh, Wi-Fi as I mentioned works perfectly. There's no issues with that. Uh, we were able to hook up just fine. And um, everything very very stable ROM. Lots of AOSP theming as well um, and things like that. So. Uh, that is Caesars Continuum 3.1.1. Great stuff. Check it out. Be sure to consider donating to the developer. Uh, he spends a lot of time on these ROMs, and uh, you guys are well aware of 
how I like to support the developers. So I try to toss donations here and there. So um, any donations you may send me, trust me, they go right back out into the Captivate community uh, and other communities as well. And uh, I really appreciate the work that we see from these guys. So really cool stuff from ISR1. Let's continue in version 3.1.1. And um, it's definitely something worth checking out. So uh, if we wanted to power off, we would get the Samsung screen with default noise. So really cool stuff. Also wanted to mention, obviously the jigs are currently on sale. May even become the regular price. Eight bucks, quick brick fix. Don't wait till you brick, get one today. They're actually very, very convenient. And uh, you can use them just to get in the download mode. It's a very simple way to, uh, to enter download mode with no issues at all. So that's Captivate, that's a Vibrant. They work on all the Galaxy S variants and there's no issues with that. Also, I've got a couple of body glove cases left over as well. They've sold uh, pretty decent. So check that out with the products page. We'll be integrating a new store into the website with lots more products coming up very soon. Uh, so I'm not here to block too much about that, but it's a great way to support us. So pick up a jig today. Um, all orders that have been placed uh, before this video, you guys are getting shipped out today. There is no back ordering going on right now. All this stuff's in stock, so check us out. Don't wait for a back order. Get your jig today. So that's uh, Continuum 3.1.1 and all my shameless plugs in a bundle at the end of the video. Thanks for checking us out. Be sure to subscribe, mobiletechvideos.com. Thanks for watching, and if you're ready to flash this, good luck.